Hi guys, good morning. This is Dr. Freddy again of Freddy's Farm. So for today, I would like to share with you some insights on uh, duckweed culture. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I have built a one meter by one meter pond and it's about six inches deep. And uh, I filled it with uh, fresh water and then about four inches deep. And then uh, for its fertilizer, I have used some uh, vermicast, okay, from the worms. I put in about uh, half kg to one kg. Uh, don't add so much if you don't have vermicast you can use a uh, top rich soil or maybe a um, composted uh, dry cow manure or chicken manure okay as long as it's fully uh, it's fully dry and it's decomposed already and then for uh, the duckweed uh, you can start with uh, maybe a, a quarter of a kg for a one meter by one meter pond. Now, uh, it has to be uh, in a shaded area. So in my case, uh, I built the pond uh, under a dragonfruit tree. Okay, uh, It doesn't require so much uh, sunlight. Um, ideally maybe about uh, three to four hours sunlight only not necessarily a full uh, day sunlight all right and uh, based on experience since we have uh, built a small pond with stagnant fresh water now one of the problems is uh, uh mosquitoes okay so uh, it's possible that mosquitoes will lay their eggs and you will have a problem with mosquitoes in the future so what i did in order to solve that problem is to put uh, one small tilapia in this pond okay so i have one tilapia actually uh, very small one just to control the larvae of the mosquitoes okay um, it's not advisable that you're going to put in a lot of tilapia in this pond otherwise they're going to consume your duckweed all right so it's important that uh, um, you control the number of fish in your pond eh? otherwise the, your duckweed will not multiply so one problem solved so mosquitoes sold okay i put in one tilapia and also the droppings of that tilapia will continue to fertilize the water and as a fertilizer also for for the duckweed all right um i normally uh, just tap up the water because of evaporation so maybe once a week or once every two weeks, you need to tap up the water. And for the fertilizer, I mentioned I use uh, vermicast. Maybe uh, you can add half a kg every month, uh, once every month or once every two months. Okay, so you will know that they are healthy if the color is uh, bright green, okay? If they turn out to be brownish already, it means that your duckweed are not healthy. Okay, so the the problems could come in many different uh, sources. Uh, too much sunlight, maybe, or there's not enough nutrients in the water, or the water is dirty, or Oh yeah, so those could be some of the sources of problems 
for the duckweed. Alright guys, that's all for today. I hope you learned again. So, duckweed is very rich in terms of crude protein. 30-35% crude protein. Bye guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. And thank you for watching. If you are new to our channel, by the way, uh, I invite you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that uh, you will be notified always whenever we have new videos. And uh, if you enjoy this video, you can uh, like and share just to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Bye and query.